Hey everybody, C. Key here, and I am coming to you with a June favorite. But before I get into these favorites, y'all, let me tell you, this lipstick that I'm wearing is amazing. I mean, I haven't worn it for the whole day yet, but the color payoff is crazy. I just got this yesterday from the Fame Expo, and it's from Lime Crime. It's a velveteen, and it is in the color... Ooh suede berry that's what it is i was about to say studebaker and it is in the form of a lip gloss but it dries like crazy matte it's this is amazing so that's what the tube looks like and then let me show you here and then it's like a doe foot applicator just like lip gloss and then it comes out like that I love this color oh my gosh I mean like would it be fair to add this to my favorites even though I just got it yesterday and tried it today I mean it's still June right okay anyway on to my favorites my Ben Nye banana powder this container I purchased from Mac I think it was like eight bucks and I just put like different Ben Nye powders in here at the top is banana powder as you can see it is pretty much gone and I need to refill it so I can safely say that this is one of my favorite products. And the thing that I like about the Ben Nye Banana Powder as well is that it sets my highlight under my eye and on the bridge of my nose like great. But when I take pictures, there's no flashback. And I don't like flashback in pictures. I mean, it makes you kind of look like a raccoon, but with bright rings under your eyes. Don't like that. My next favorite, which I did a video on, is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the color Fawn, and I'm actually wearing it as an under eye highlight today. And in my video, if you haven't seen my demo and review, I will link it below. But I love this concealer because it is the most, um, I guess it's the most comparable to my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer that I've yet to find. So this is amazing. And then this blush that I got from MAC, the name is Fever. I know you guys see me talk about this a lot. This stuff, I mean, ever since I got it, when I do my makeup, I'm reaching for this blush. And I have it on now as well. I mean, the thing that I like about it is it's a matte blush and you can build it up. So you can have light coverage like I always do because I don't like a lot of blush on my cheeks. Or you can build it up and, I mean, you can go crazy hard and make it like really bold. But it's an amazing color and I think it'll look beautiful on skins darker than me and even if you're lighter than me you can work this okay i think that you can work any blush you want to as long as it's not too if it's too light it might not show up on dark skin but as far as the boldness of blush any skin tone can wear it to me you just have to know how to work with it and this neon orange lipstick now this was from the mac all about orange collection and i recently did a giveaway which i shipped out to the winner already congratulations and I love this and I think the reason I love it so much is because it reminds me so much of So Shod. And So Shod is, you know, like one of my favorites as well. But the thing about So Shod is it's a matte and this neon orange is an amplified. Now I like mattes, but in bright colors, I tend to lean towards the amplifieds because it's a little more creamier. When they're brighter colors and it's matte, I don't know, when my lips dry, I guess you can kind of see it a little more. And then this product, which I also have a review on. And mind you, I'm not getting paid to talk about any of these products, okay? I just really honestly love them. So this product, Model on a Bottle, this is the formula for sensitive skin. Now let me tell you about this. My only complaint about this product and this bottle is that, I mean, not it, it gets a little sticky because, you know, it's a setting spray. So it gets a little sticky at the top. And when you go to spray it, it kind of squirts instead of gives you a mist like Fix Plus by MAC, right? Well, they have fixed that problem and I am one happy girl. Let me show you. I was at the Fame Expo and they're selling their new packaging. Now this is for sensitive skin also, but look at the packaging. Same product, same paraben free product. But it is not in a glass bottle, which a glass bottle can make hard for traveling when you're, you know, when it's in your kit and you're going to different destinations. It's easier to break. And you see the spray pump is a little bit different. 
So she even did a test spray and I used it today. And the mist is way better than this one. So, I mean, the product I love in a better bottle, like winning. So yeah, you might wanna try that out. A hair product I have that was a favorite for this month. It is from As I Am and it's the Double Butter Cream Rich Daily Moisturizer. Now I picked this up at Walgreens and I put it on my Instagram as well that they had a sale, buy one, get one 50% off. Now as I am products, that's awesome because some of these creams run like $22, $18 or whatever. But I ended up getting this I think for $16.99 and then I got another one of the co-washes for like half off. But I really like this. I like the twist defining cream too, but that one makes your hair a little more wet. So if you're doing a dry twist out, it can kind of you know, um, make it kind of wet and turn it into like a wet twist out instead of a dry twist out. But this one is a little more um, buttery and I like that about it. So here's the consistency of it, but it's like a cream and it smells really good just like all the other products, but I have been using this like weekly. Like I'll do my wash and goes and then when my wash and goes get kind of like old, then I'll start doing a twist out to moisturize my ends and everything. And this stuff is what I've been using every week. So I really like it. And lastly, this is a bleaching cream. Now, I use this on my face, but let me tell you how I do it, okay? I don't do this all the time. But as I said, I, you know, I overcame hormonal acne. So I had really bad scarring at one time. And once a month, you know, I have breakouts once a month. Okay. We have those breakouts and I scar very easy. So if I feel like, you know, for my face regimen, using my clay mask and using um, all the other products that I use that are wonderful, if I feel that the scars aren't going away quick enough for me, then I will use this bleaching cream and it is called black and white and it's bleaching cream with hydroquinone. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that's what it looks like. Now, all I do is I'll take it on a Q-tip and, you know, after I wash and moisturize my face at nighttime, I'll take a little bit on a Q-tip and I'll just put it directly on the spot. And I might do that for like two or three nights in a row and then it'll like fade it a little bit. And then I'll just proceed with my normal regimen every day. I mean, that's not something that I use all the time. Um, you might want to do research before you use it because it is a bleaching cream. I mean, and it smells like a bleaching cream. It does. So, you know, look into that to see if you want to use it. But I've been using it and I haven't had any problems and I love it. So just wanted to share it with you guys. And um, that's about it for my June favorites. And um, until the next video, thumbs up. If you like this video, feel free to share it. And until the next video, you guys have a blessed day.